Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. And today I am delighted once again to have with us none other than Navneet Chitkaraji. Uh, he's from uh, Vyasa Astro Channel, as you would know, and he also has his online academy, the most amazing uh, Rudra Vedic Academy, if I'm correct. Uh, so, yes. Navneetji, welcome to Exotic Astrology. Nice to have you. The second time here uh hopefully second and maybe more <laughs> thank you thank you so much uh baba Chichi. it is uh, always an honor and such a delight uh, to be you know on your channel and every time uh you know you put a video uh you know i always know that this is going to be one of the finest research mm -hmm. and the content and uh, it is always an honor to see you and uh, your channel growing and with the simplicity and sincerity and with tons of patience, you know, that you are giving to this uh, beautiful science. You know, it is really commendable, Baba Ji. Such a, such a beautiful thing that you're doing, uh, you know, in the field of Jyotisha. It is absolutely amazing. And the way I think I should call you a uh, uh, Bhagavata Jyotishi, you know, who, who has, you know, just like today's Ikadashi, Ikadashi Vrat is a Bhagavat Vrata. Yes. Okay, so you can always do the Ikadashi Vrat in the, uh, if you have any Sutta, Korpata, you can still do the Ikadashi Vrata. So there are very few astrologers who are Bhagavat astrologers, and I will call you a Bhagavat astrologer. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I am uh, very... Uh, uh, of course, I, I don't deserve the things that you said. It's uh, your greatness that you can see good in people like me also. Uh, that is your greatness. And yeah, I'm very happy to have you here. And if anybody wants uh, to learn from him through uh, Rudra Vedic Academy or he has a very good website, I will pin all the details down in the description section along with his YouTube channel. So if you are inspired to uh, contact him, then please contact him via the details below. So Namdikji, what uh, do you plan to teach us today? <laughs> See, uh, Babaji ji, uh, the most important, uh, you know, area of our life or the aspect of our life is our profession. Now, over the period of time, I have seen that the profession in Kali Yuga especially, is not identified by gurus. You know, earlier when we used to go to Gurukul, you know, in the Satyuga or Dwapar or Treta, it was the responsibility of the guru to identify and segregate, you know, different Varnas. Okay, okay, you will be a Kshatriya, you will be a Brahmin. Even someone who was coming from the Kshatriya lineage has right to become a Brahmin based on his, you know, abilities. But nowadays what happens is you reach 35, 36, and, you know, you find that you are not in the right profession. Okay. You need to do something else. And over the period of time, there are, you know, new professions that have come up. For an example, uh, 25 years ago, there was nothing called data scientist. Okay. Or there was nothing uh, called cyber security, okay? Right. Because we were so so there was no no such concepts, and with with the period of time, we have to overcome the conventional ways of identifying the right profession for a native in a chart. That we of obviously you know when we started learning, we had some techniques that we've learned very basic techniques, but those techniques are going wrong nowadays. So, uh, you know, based on those conventional techniques, I am coming up with a combination. You know, this Kali Yuga needs a combination, you know, need a painkiller and antibiotic, right? And you need an antacid as well to cure you. Similarly, in Kali Yuga, in the modern Jyotish, what we are doing is we are trying to club various techniques to understand profession of a native through, you know, D10, through various Gemini Sutras and various other techniques. So I have a very small presentation, a very crisp one, which I'll be sharing 
uh, with you and also uh, it will take a lot of time for the for the followers to digest that particular concept because they will apply that to various charts and when you apply that you know this concept or these combination to various charts you should have a good amount of knowledge of the understanding of the characteristics of the planets okay that what planet can give you what profession because every planet has capability to give you karma right, right? it is not just the shani right every atma karak because it's not always the natural atma karak the sargic atma karak surya which is carrying your karma you have your own atma karak based on your prarab right so uh, i'll share this i'll also give you one example right of a famous celebrity and uh, i'll try to make it simple so that's what i always try to do so <laughs> i'll share my screen with you so that i can show you the uh, presentation mm -hmm. so so this is all about the d10 chart and uh, you know these are some of the steps that you know i used to use probably uh, three years or four years you know from now like you know it's very conventional way right so uh, the first thing i used to look at was the atma karak you know the dispositor of the atma karak in the divan and the nakshatra of your atma karak and then the position of the amatya karak the planet with the second highest degree uh, in the chart and then looking at the position of saturn in the d10 and lords of the 10th and the 7th house because 7th house is 10th from the 10th and in the rashi chart and in in d10 and other vargas so these were very conventional steps you know that we used to uh, take to identify somebody's profession or somebody's karmic settlement which has come from the previous life but on the same time the question was does it give you accuracy right so that was the problem no because we may have multiple professions for an example if you ask me what i was doing uh, you know in 2005 so you would find me a corporate guy working in an it you know industry so so and and in in the you know in in any of my dreams in the childhood i never thought that i will get into jyotisha right though i was from a very uh, spiritual family and god fearing and you know uh, who who belong to you know the family belong to the hindu culture the sanatan dharma and uh, vegetarian family and you know my father was a government employee so you know very very simple family and i always had dreams to be uh, you know a sports person a cricketer and then i wanted to be you know a model then i wanted to be an engineer and then i wanted to go in the army you know and then that go that that went away in two years and then finally you can see what i am so what happens is that there are various professions that we can identify in a chart but you have to have a technique to identify the most accurate and the most powerful profession that the native has brought in his life from the prarabdha that that is the role he has to play that is the karma he has to settle so we have various techniques which i'll be sharing so what to do what to do is nothing there are just two techniques that i have clubbed right and thanks uh you know to uh, my gurus right pandit sanjay rao ji dr arjun pai you know these people have blessed me right to understand these techniques but you know what it is uh, your own research that how much do you apply and yeah. i have applied to you to more than you know 200 charts and i have found more than 95% accuracy right yeah. and these charts were the people who are coming for consultation my fellow uh, colleagues you know my family members my relatives and uh, it was it was there and i guarantee you know uh to the people who are listening to this video they if they apply this they will reach uh to a level where you know they can understand what they are doing or probably they can understand what they're supposed to do in their life right so that's how it is the, the first thing that i looked at is the 
apekshika bala this is this is one of the techniques and the second one is the karakamsha lagna and uh, this is a very common technique but you know how these are interrelated is so so to you know finalize the karakamsha lagna right the output of the karakamsha lagna there has to be an input that should come from the apekshika bala technique okay or vice versa so if you start with apekshika bala to you know to actually stamp what you see in the apekshika bala you have to go to the karakamsha and find out whether it is there are they make are they relevant to each other or not so that's the most important thing but i'll jump quickly to make you understand what is a apekshika bala now this technique is technique that we use in the varga charts okay we yeah. do not use it in the lagna d1 or rashi chart we don't use it why that's the most important question see the technique is to look at a planet which is sitting exactly seven places away from the surya okay okay why surya surya is the nasargik atma karak surya is the natural atma karaka for everyone right and the the seventh is the exactly 180 degree drishti which is coming okay which which is there with the surya devata okay and what is the drishti drishti is nothing but the desire mm-hmm. okay? okay so so to identify the desire you know of the profession of the karma of the power the strength that you've got we have to go to d10 chart to see surya and then exactly seven places away exactly opposite to surya what is happening okay but if we apply this to the d1 chart or to the rashi chart the problem is we will do injustice to two planets which is mercury and venus because they cannot be seven places away from surya oh, okay. in any case yeah okay yeah. either they will be in the same house or one house behind or forward of the surya so these two grahas cannot be exactly opposite to surya seven places away from surya in the d1 so ruled out correct okay and this is possible in the varga charts so this technique mm-hmm. has to be applied only in the varga charts we can apply this in the d10 we can apply this in the d9 also so we can come up with a video when we apply this in the d9 what does it represents okay but right now we will more foc- we will be focusing on the d10 chart okay so what we do is step number 1 go to your d10 chart okay look where your surya is your natural atma karaka okay now from the surya look at the avastha of the seventh house exactly opposite find out the planet or the graha in the seventh house and look at the dispositor of that house okay so the lord of that house try to make a combination right that will give you your real profession but mm-hmm. there will be you know cases where there will be no graha sitting exactly opposite to the seventh of surya in the d10 then what do we do what do we do so what we do is we look at the adjacent houses to the seventh house okay. okay so one house on the right one house on the left try to find out the, if there is a planet if there are two planets three planets try to find out which is the strongest planet there correct right the planet should not be in maranakarna sthana it should not be debilitated right it will never be combust or astangata because it is away from surya yes okay so you have to identify the strength okay of the planet and you have to identify the dispositor the dispositor is gone in which house right and try to make the combination it's very very simple right this is how you identify the sole purpose of your atman right that this is what your atma wants to do okay right. now is this matching with the profession that you have brought 
through your prarabd. Okay, so this belongs to sanchit. You know, apeksha bala is, is something that belongs to your sanchit karma. You know, because atma belongs to sanchit karma. Atma okay. karka, surya, belongs to sanchit karma. But the atma karak in your horoscope right now in the D1 belongs to your prarabd karma, which you have taken out from the sanchit. Okay. Okay. So yeah. let's see that if it matches, okay, if that matches, you are going to be king. You are going to rule this world in that particular profession. Simple. Wow. Right? Because you've brought those combinations in there. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, so, so I, I have, when I use the word king, so I wanted to, you know, use an, a chart of the King Khan, Shah Rukh Khan. Mm -hmm. Right? So he is king of this industry. There's no doubt about it. Right. So he was born on 2nd of November, 1965 at 2.30 in the morning, Delhi. And this is his birth chart. Okay. Now this is the Lagna. This is the Rashi chart. Looking at this Rashi chart, we could only see that we have Shukra, you know, which is sitting in the fifth house, you know. And also there's another important thing that we see uh, in this Lagna is that you have Jupiter, which is sitting on the Dagdarashi. Mm -hmm. right? So Dagdarashi is the Rashi that we derive from the combination of the Tithi on the day you are born. Correct. So there are Tithis that have Dagdarashis. And if you're born on two Tithis, then you don't have the Dagdarashis. Okay, there are certain Tithis. I have a video on the YouTube, right? So you can go and check those. So whenever there is a retrograde planet, on the Dagdarashi, or there is a planet which is, I mean, which is Rahu or Ketu, right? These grahas do exceptionally well on the Dagdarashis. Okay. A retrograde planet just jumps to the opposite house. Okay. So Jupiter is not giving the result of the 11th house here. For him, Jupiter is giving the results of the fifth house, the house of creativity. Okay. You know? The yeah. house of love, romance, right? So this is what is happening. And you know, Jupiter and Venus combination is actually, you know, it's not a bad combination when it comes to profession. I okay. must tell you that. That for personal life, it may be a conflict. But when it comes to your profession, your personal life, right? What you have, you have expansion, right? And then you have devotion. So when oh. you look at, Look at Charu Khan. You ask any, you know, any director or a producer, this guy is never late on his sets. He's always mm -hmm. there, you know, and he's always working hard for every single scene. But still, it is not giving me, you know, that confidence to predict. Suppose mm -hmm. if nobody tells me that this is Charu Khan, okay, it will take some time for me to understand his profession. Right, because Venus is also part of many other professions, Correct. not just the acting or this, you know, it's just a lot of other professions are seen, right? Because Venus in Mula gives a very philosophical approach, also. Okay, okay. so so we look at the Dashamsha chart. In the Dashamsha chart, we're gonna look at the Apekshika Bala. So as you see, his Surya is in the Lagna. So I have not rotated the lagna. I have never, I didn't bring Surya in the lagna. This is how is the Shamsha is. Okay. okay so you mm -hmm. need not alter the Shamsha. Just look at the, the Shamsha. Look at where Surya is. Now, exactly opposite to the Surya, we have Mercury. Yes. Okay. Now, Mercury is in its own sign, exaltation. But on the same time, Mercury is also in the MKS. It is the Maranakarna Sthan for Mercury, the seventh house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, this doesn't become very, very powerful. Why? See, look at Shah Rukh Khan. He did his graduation, bachelor's in economics, right? And then he was trying to do mass communication, but he quit in between and went to the theater. Okay. okay. Started doing the theater. So, this profession may not be a very promising 
and the dispositor is the mercury itself sitting in the seventh in the same house right now we move on to the adjacent houses okay in these adjacent houses we got jupiter retrograde which is also the lord of the first house right see whenever i look at a varga chart i look at a varga chart as an individual chart Correct. okay so whatever principles that you are applying in the d1 you have full right to apply those principles in the varga charts okay, okay. so this is the lagnesha went into the sixth house right Uh, the dispositor is the surya sitting in the lagna itself but when i look at ketu you know there is a principle the very important principle the most powerful graha that you should see for a profession is a graha which is sitting in a mula trikona rashi of a planet right okay. so there are mula because you know there are two rashis one is the own sign the other one is the mula trikona mula trikona is always the own sign as well yeah. right but not necessarily okay so mula trikona is actually the office correct okay and the other rashi is your home yes okay yes. so where is this ketu is very very strong here and ketu is sitting in the mula trikona rashi of shukra yeah. venus and venus is gone in the house of profession karma 10th house oh now i get the input now i say oh this guy is creative and what does ketu do what is the one line that we use for ketu the one line that we use for ketu is wherever ketu sits it is going to make you super brave about that house super brave because for bravery you don't need your head ah oh, yes because when you, when you have your head you are going to be sensible and you're not going to be brave yeah yes 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 because rahu will not fight yeah yes he is a smart guy he will yes. just you know go by side and run away ketu will stand and fight and will put his dhwaja the flag yes the flag he wants to fight he wants to win so when you have ketu exactly opposite to surya or to to a house where you're looking at for your profession you are going to take a brave switch okay see bachelor's in economics mass communication then you're leaving and joining theater yes yes right and then you are starting with the first serial as a fauji Shahrukh Khan, the first serial as a fauji, the soldier. You remember, and then he did some circus. There was some other, you know, TV serial that he did circus, and then he went on to the movies. So the most famous was fauji that he did, and okay. and that is from where he got the recognition, right? So K two, and then the Venus, right? From here we see, but then we see other professions also. You know, other professions is. now look at jupiter jupiter being the lagnesh is gone in the house of competition right and the dispositor is in the lagna so he also invested in one is to six relation he also invested in sports like ipl he was the first bollywood star you know he clubbed with juhi chawla and he was the first one to invest in ipl in the industry right and then we move on to another adjacent houses we find saturn here right and presently he is in the saturn mahadasha and something related to the fifth house and the dispositor is moon in the second house okay second house is house of communication education education is the first like how do you eat yeah you know how do you taste the primary you know education yeah, yeah people yeah, yeah. say oh it is your third house of education fourth house of education fifth house of education ninth house of education but who made you eat okay this is how you eat this is how you hold a spoon okay this is how you sit on a potty chair so this is all happening in the second house mm, yes. i must tell you that you know because 
your taste buds are developed in the second house okay so he also did a small initiative which i'll tell you by end of uh, this uh, presentation that what he did okay for pertaining to the fifth house okay now we have inputs here we've got inputs from the apekshika phala right now we will move on to karakamsha lagna to okay. you know freeze this that okay this is it what is karakamsha steps we have to identify your atma karak that you've got in this life it may be surya it may not be surya right because you've got some prarab you know some karmic settlement in this biological suit so atma karak is decided accordingly you've got mars as an atma karak sitting in the jeshtha nakshatra okay oh what is the meaning of jeshtha nakshatra you know he is going to sing and dance you know indra likes to sing and dance yes you know so jeshtha nakshatra whenever i see someone in jeshtha nakshatra you know your janam nakshatra in the jeshtha or your atma karak in the jeshtha i know there is a hidden artist in in the in, in that native you know you ask a software engineer working for big company did you like to dance and sing oh i was very good in the school okay. you know this is what jeshtha tells you jeshtha and and you know what probably you know his dasha see he was born in the shravana okay so he was born in the moon mahadasha and the second dasha the next dasha after the moon was mars so his childhood was in the mars dasha where he was learning dancing and you know though i i am sure he used to spend a lot of time on the mirror you know looking mm. himself as an actor so that those things those seeds were sown there mm. okay? okay so that was done and then what he did was from atma karak in the d9 chart okay in the pisces we rotate the lagna to the pisces here right and what we got this is the karakamsha lagna so atma karak identify atma karak in d9 okay and then rotate your d1 to that particular sign so we've got the karakamsha lagna look at venus in the 10th house okay, okay. it it gave me the input and then again jupiter in the dagda rashi is jumped back to the 10th house again Okay. okay venus jupiter combination through karakamsha lagna in the 10th house and his lagnesh surya here is again in the mula trikona sign of shukra sitting in the 10th house this gives me a handsome idea right that this is you know see and jupiter is also aspecting surya in the karakamsha which is a king okay this gives me a complete information that this is a person who will be a great actor who will be into theater who will be into movies and another atma karak and amatya karak so is amatya karak chandra is also aspecting the atma karak through rashi drishti and rashi drishti i must tell you is far more powerful drishti than the graha drishti Correct, correct. I must tell you that, right? So this gives me that he is going to be super successful and rich. There is a combination of eleventh and the ninth. Yes. Right. This makes, you know, this stamps that this is a kundli of a king maker, is a king of his industry, and he's you everywhere. It is giving me Venus, you know, Venus in here, Venus here, Venus there, right? So Venus is one graha which is made in this. i'm we can speak 10 more things on this chart looking at combinations right but then we always have you know we want the natives we want the students we want the followers to digest this research this we can have multiple videos on more personalities you know we can discuss charts of various gurus teachers celebrities doctors to understand this concept but for for the followers on this channel i want them to just apply and try and start working you know start researching so that i can come up with three or four 
more steps in the same concept, but I would stop here. So, so IPL was one, and then he also invested in something called Kidzania. So Kidzania was a international edutainment chain for the kids. So now you understand Jupiter in the fifth, uh, the Saturn in the fifth house and the dispositor in the second house. Okay, so this is how you identify the, the profession. These are the steps that you take. And uh, this is how I, you know, try and analyze and train my students and, you know, analyze different charts to understand the profession. Incredible. It's like uh, something which we know, like we have, we know about the Atma Karaka, we know about Karakamsha. These are things which we know already, but then I'm very sure most of us, we do not know how to use them. So this is a very, very, very beautiful way how you can see this, like going to uh, Surya in the D10 and seeing the seventh house uh, from there. And uh, if the seventh house is empty, you see the house previous to it, which is the sixth or the next, which is the eighth not from your ascendant, from wherever your Surya is and in the D10 chart. So these are two disclaimers. This is not but, in the D1. Yeah. And you should never forget to check the dispositor. Dispositor yes. is very important. Yes. So the dispositor is equally important. So when you check all this, then you can arrive at a conclusion. And as you saw, uh, we saw in like uh, Shah Rukh Khan's chart that uh, the first profession that he had was uh, with Mercury, but it was in Maran Karakstana. So then he later on, he changed his profession uh, because the planet sitting next uh, in the next house from Mercury uh, gave the profession and allow, we also saw Jupiter, which was in the previous and we also saw uh, in which Dasha might be, he he must yes. have, you know, started uh, yes. learning dance and all this. And we yes. also saw Jeshta yes. Nakshatra. So yeah. uh, this is the most beautiful thing uh, of this presentation, in my opinion, that we just don't see one thing. Yes. We, see, we see so many things. And that's the duty of an astrologer to not just predict, uh, okay, you have Rahu in 10th house, you'll become a... <laughs> politician or you'll become a rock star right yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we yeah. go to the chart in details and we try to see uh, if you are able to get the links together uh, it's like yeah. as steve jobs said like uh, connecting the dots so yeah that is the most 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 important skill of an astrologer and i have seen uh, astrologers who are very good at individual things but they cannot do comprehensive analysis so yeah. Most of their predictions, unfortunately, do not work. And I've yeah. seen astrologers who are not very knowledgeable about individual placements, but yeah. they can do a fantastic comprehensive analysis. And they end up giving very good predictions and also helping people in their real life because that is holistic in a way that you improve other areas of your life along with your profession or married life, You know, not just that. Yeah. One area is skyrocketing and the other yeah. is going to hell. So yeah. uh, I always say, and uh, thank you, Nandini once again, very beautifully, you have uh, done a very comprehensive analysis. So thank you very much once again for coming. And as usual, if anybody uh, has not watched his YouTube channel, he has amazing content there. Please go. You will see the channel in the description section. And also he's open for consultations. And he has a fantastic academy. You will see all the links in the description section. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.